Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own humanoid character in Blender very very quickly. Keep in mind this is a intermediate tutorial and if you don't know anything about Blender you're better off doing something else. Uh, but if you don't want to listen to me and you still want to do it I'm going to enable screencast keys down here so now you can look at those. We're gonna go over four things here. We're gonna be making the head, the torso, arms, and legs. We're gonna be making a head first. So you take the cube, go into edit mode, and subdivide smooth right here. This doesn't look like a head yet, but it will soon. I'm just gonna move it up. Okay, scale it on the X axis, scale it a bit on, on Z and Y. It looks like a head even more now. Okay, you're gonna press O to enable proportion, proportional editing. And you can just then move this up, move down. And this looks like a head right now. Not the best head ever, but we want to add a mirror modifier. So just select this side. Delete vertices, go here, add modifier, mirror, and enable clipping because that's very important. If you don't, this is going to happen. You don't want that. You can disable proportional editing by pressing O again. And now just make some adjustments how you like it. So I like it like this. This is a pretty good head, I would say. Although I'm just gonna scale it down a bit. I think it's a bit too big. There you go, this is a good head. Now go to face select mode. Select this face right here. And now we're gonna make the neck. Okay, this is the neck. It doesn't look like a neck yet. So you can press S, Z, 0 to scale it. And now it's flat, which is very good. Um, I'm going to move these vertices forwards a bit. And add a loop cut with Control R in the middle. And then you can scale that also if you want to make a nice neck. And scale this thing also. Actually, we're just going to move it on the X axis. And I would say that's a pretty nice looking head. If you ask me, you just move some around and this looks quite nice. I actually like to scale this a bit on the X axis. And next we're going to be doing the torso. So just select this face down here and then we're just going to extrude. This looks about right. Okay, so we're going to be adding a few loop cuts so control R we're gonna add one for chest one below the chest one in the middle and one in the lower part of the torso I would say this is a bit too thin for the body so just select all of this and scale it on Y now we're gonna be making the basic shape of the body that means the lower body is going to be a bit thinner, so we're just going to move it, move the back part a bit in and the front part also. Let's see. Very good. And the chest should be a bit more popped. Okay. There you go. This looks about right from the side. And maybe move the back a bit up like that. And from the side, it looks fine but from the front view it doesn't so we're just gonna take these and just move them um, move them in a bit I would say we should move this a bit up like that and then scale this bottom part because it's a bit too large the chest looks fine now we're gonna go to face select mode and we're gonna create sh uh, we're gonna create shoulders okay select this extrude and you can see that this doesn't look like a shoulder, but if you go into vertex select mode, Alt M at last. So we're just going to merge these, these two vertices, these four vertices actually, and those should be the shoulders. I know these are uh, triangles, but uh, we're just going to use a few of them, nothing too much. Uh, that It shouldn't break anything when uh, if you want to animate this. So these two faces, and now you can extrude your arms. Okay, just press E, extrude, and those are your arms. You can now select these middle one, middle ones, so these two, 
and then just move them towards the middle and select the whole thing and S set zero to make it flat. It's not the best thing ever, uh, but as I said, it's quick and easy. Let's move this one also, and this should maybe go backwards. Okay. Um, maybe scale it down, add some forearms because everybody needs those. Um, those are the forearms. And now we're just going to add some simple fists. So just like that. Those don't look like the, like an arm. It, it looks like an arm from the front view, but from the side view, it definitely doesn't. Uh, so we're just going to select the whole arm right here. And hopefully we're just going to scale it. Scale on Y. And once you scale it, it looks more like an arm. Scale the shoulders also a bit. And that looks pretty good, I would say. Now they're a bit too squarey, so we're just going to move these more towards the middle. And then they shouldn't look that square. Squarey. Is that even a word? I don't know. Figure on why maybe pull this one a bit down so the back look a bit wider. And the chest here are a bit weird. But that should be fine because we're just doing this very quickly. Uh, what you can do is you can add another loop cut in the middle here and then make the chest pop or like that. I'm just going to do that because I think it looks pretty good. Next, we're going to be doing the legs. So go to face select mode, select this interface right there, extrude it, and then go into vertex select mode. And now you can just make kind of a V shape right there. So this. Go to face, select these two faces, and same as we did for the arms, extrude SZ0, scale it, and these will be the legs. Extrude for some lower lower part of the legs, extrude once more, and then select these two front faces, and extrude them for feet. Okay, this, is, um, this needs some fixing right here. Uh, the legs should not be that square. Where so we just move those a bit in, and these also and do the same thing for these these ones. Oops. Okay. Okay. This looks a bit weird, so we're just gonna pull that in. And the feet. That should be the simplest part. Just move that down. Add another loop cut if you want. You don't have to do this part, but you can. A bit scale. Okay, that looks like a nice leg. Um, maybe I'll add just one loop cut in the middle here and make that a bit thinner. All right. Uh, one thing I like to do for the arms and legs, I like to add a few loop cuts, a um, few places. To make it more look, uh, to make it look more muscular. So one for the biceps right here, so scale it. One for the forearm, scale that. Uh, one for the quadricep, quads. Okay, I don't know how to say that word. And one for the calves, right there. And he looks more muscular. Now, this part definitely looks a bit too. Um, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, it looks like a square. Uh, not good. So move those a bit in. And look at that. We have our character. Uh, one thing. No, that looks good, I, I think. So, yeah. Here we're done. Let's see how long did that take. That took 10 minutes. 10 minutes to make this character. You can probably do it even faster if you don't have to do a commentary. Like I just did. Uh, and just scale those fists a bit because they're a bit too big. You can make fingers, you can add uh, improvements to this, you can add more loop cuts somewhere to make it look um, not not as blocky, but I would say this is a pretty good character, you can animate him, you can do stuff to him. Um, I'm just going to move this part in, so it makes him look better. There you go, so I would say that's pretty good. If we go to smooth mode, 
also doesn't look too bad it could use some fixing somewhere but I, I would say you can use this in a prototype for a game or something like that so if you enjoyed if this helped you be sure to leave a like comment down below if you want me to make any special video or something and definitely subscribe it really helps me out and hopefully I'll see you in the, in the next video bye bye have a good time